Far from the tree-lined streets and mansions that many call home is the cold, hard concrete on Skid Row that almost 1,700 homeless people will sleep on tonight. Teresa Wrinkler used to be part of this statistic. I was a runaway at the age of 13, and out of the, the desire to survive, I started in the business of prostitution. Ringler was living on the streets until eight years yeah. ago when she was arrested. I knew my life was changing that day. She was referred to Skid Row Housing Trust, an organization that provides permanent supportive housing for the homeless. Ringler and her husband live at the Abbey, which is one of the 24 buildings operated by the trust. If I had not found the trust, I wouldn't have found that last word, trust. The Abbey holds 115 apartments, but the size of the building doesn't compare to the size of its impact on the community. We want to improve the conditions in the city for everyone. We don't require that people have their sobriety under control. We believe it's important for them to get housing first. Executive Director Mike Alvidrez just celebrated the grand opening of the Trust's newest building, Star Apartments. What we did when we created the Star Apartments was to create a very large community space where activities are able to be enjoyed by people who don't live at the Star but live in our other buildings in the community. Art classes, gardening and yoga are just a few of the activities you can find residents enjoying on the roof of Star Apartments. The building also has in-house medical services for residents. We've created a culture of improving the lives of hundreds and thousands of people. Board member Jennifer Casper agrees. People say that we build home housing for the homeless, but we don't. We build housing for the formerly homeless. Once they move in, they're no longer homeless and their lives are transformed. Like the other buildings operated by the Trust, Star Apartments doesn't just provide a roof over residents' heads. It also provides a fresh lease on life. Reporting for Annenberg TV News, I'm Madison Mills.